So we are back at the 7 2010 conference and my next uh, interview is Anka from Citigroup and we will discuss the competences of the future for LLD professionals. I'm Wagner Casimiro and this is Press Tree. Why do we need to change? This is a very good question. I think um, in, in the workplace we talk about the future of work these days. We, we talk about you know, different trends that are affecting the way that we work and interact with each other, the, the value that we, we bring in the society for our clients. Um, so that's a, a common conversation. One of the things that I that I that we believe at City is that um, learning is working and wor working is is learning. Um, so we are constantly, you know, thinking the way that we adapt, you know, the learning organization to the changing um, space of, of work. So if, if learning is working, you know, how do we how do we bring in you know new skills and adapt as a learning organization? Um, and what are those types of skills? And how do we respond to the changing needs of our organizations? Uh, we need to change. We need to evolve. So we are, um, you know, constantly adapting to, to yeah. that. And what are the these new competencies for an mm. professional? So we've been we've been learning a lot over the years about um, a few competencies that are that are critical. Um, Performance consultancy, I think, is at the core of the, the learning organization. So really um, understanding the client, um, the partners that you support, really understanding the business, understand you know, what, is, um, what is their value and measure of impact? What is the expected performance of the people that work there? Um, and you know, how, how can you... Um, look at opportunities and performance problems and really help the, the business move and, and evolve. So performance consultancy is like really, really critical. One new skill that you know, we, we experienced with over the years is marketing and communication. Um, because we realize the role of the, the learning organization plays into capturing um, hearts and minds of individuals so, you know, the, the use of colors, the use of messages, um, the channels that we utilize, uh, the way that we get across to people and when, um, the way that we, you know, don't overwhelm, so we keep just enough information, just enough messages, you know, for them to be able to, to make sense of them. These are, you know, really important uh, marketing and, and communication skills. Um, and really understanding behavior, so the whole aspect of, um, you know, just you know, behavior science is is a, a new emerging skill for for the energy organization. Organization, and then the other one, of course, is as as the future of work is more technical, more digital. I think that's data the driven. data driven. Yes. Yeah, so so here we see you know some some other skills emerging like um, you know digital acumen and understanding of new technologies that we can apply and that can augment our capabilities and our people capabilities in the workplace um, and and really um, you know understanding of um, networks and how we can capture data of you know people interactions in the organization and facilitate you know better interactions and learning from each other so all of these are you know emerging skills that we we consider either to bring those profiles in the learning organization or you know invest in adapting and evolving our our capabilities and skills as people in the in the learning team. And, and how could we develop these new skills? Mm. Well, I, I think uh, as with any skill, you know, becoming becoming interested, curious, and aware that you need to apply, you know, those type of skills is the the first level. Um, what we've done at City is we, we actually brought in people in the learning organization that have that knowledge and expertise already developed to help the rest of us um, understand the space of marketing of, of com communication or technology digital. Um, so just by, by bringing peers and, and sharing that with the, with the rest of the team helps us um, evolve. And then, of course, um, there, there are three um, you know, key, key behaviors that we, we practice at CD. Um, 
curiosity, empathy, and courage. Um, you know, just just becoming like really curious about this new space and opportunities for the for the learning function. Um, applying empathy in the relationship with our partners and clients, um, and being courageous. You know, just explore different different um, territories. Thank you. Thank you.